Good morning dear students and welcome back to science 1. We have already started with chemical reactions and equations. Now today we are going to learn about chemical reactions. Now some of the scientists in the 18th and the 19th century carried out some fundamental experiments on chemical reactions. And they proved from the experiments that during chemical reaction composition of the matter changes. That is, you can see over here in this case that calcium oxide when combines with water forms calcium hydroxide. Okay, so here the chemical combination of the matter that is calcium oxide and water changes into calcium hydroxide and that change remains permanent. On the other hand, when we take a, you know, a physical change, during a physical change, only the state of the matter changes. Here you can see when we boil water, we can see that the liquid changes into gaseous state. That means liquid state changes into a gaseous state, which is a temporary change because gas can be condensed back into liquid. So physical changes are uh, temporary changes whereas chemical changes wherein the matter, composition of the matter changes are permanent. Now let us see some of the examples to see which are the physical and chemical changes. First one, when we separate beans from the mixture using a magnet, it's a type than boiling of water making table from the wood, breaking of the glass object. These are all physical changes whereas blooming of the flower ripening of tomato, spoiling of milk, rusting of iron, burning of wood, all these are chemical changes. Now let us see in all these cases why are they called as physical or chemical changes. In the first case when the ice melts to water, it's a type of physical change. Why? Because the uh, there is transformation of ice into water only the solid state changes into liquid so here there is change only in the state whereas when we cook food it's a chemical change because the chemical composition or the chemical properties of the original substance changes into a new substance so it is a type of chemical change third ripening of fruit is also a chemical change because ripened fruit cannot be brought back into the raw fruit. Also, the, uh, uh, the, the chemical properties of the ripened fruits are different from that of the raw fruit. Next, the curd, milk changing into the curd is also a type of chemical change because the properties of the milk are different from that of the curd. So, it's a chemical change. Then next is evaporation of water as I have already told that it is a type of physical change because here the liquid changes into a gas. So only the state changes here. So it's, it is a type of physical change whereas the digestion of the food here the food uh, gets converted into its soluble form because of the digestive juices. So here the food is changed into something different. So it's a chemical change. Then size reduction of the naphtha balls when exposed to air here they it gets uh, sublimated here solid changes into a gaseous state so only state changes so it's, it is a type of physical change whereas when you squeeze lemon on shahabad or kadappa tile you know you can see the color of the lemon juice on the kadappa, kadappa tile so here there is a change in the color so change in the color implies that it's a type of chemical change so, we have now seen some of the physical and chemical changes. Now, breaking of the glass also is a physical change because here the original substance that is glass is not changed into a new substance. So, it's a type of physical change. So, we have seen now some examples of physical and chemical changes. Now, let us perform some activities to see what are the different things in a physical and chemical chain? Let us take some uh, apparatus here like thermometer, evaporating dish, a tripod stand, funnel and the Bunsen burner. Let us take some chemicals now. 
like limestone, copper sulphate solution, calcium chloride solution, potassium chromate solution, barium sulphate solution, zinc dust, sodium carbonate solution and thallic anhydride. Now let us perform the first activity that is take a spoonful of limestone powder in an evaporating dish. Then heat it strongly on high blue flame. What do you observe? Here you'll find that there is evolution of the gas and calcium carbonate decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So here it's a type of chemical change. So calcium carbonate and calcium oxide the state remains the same whereas here there is evolution of the gas and the change in the temperature. Now let us try to fill the table. Okay here there is a color no color change but there is evolution of the gas and even the temperature changes. So it's a type of chemical change. Let us see the next activity and now take copper sulphate solution in the test tube and add zinc dust to it. Leave it for some time. You will find that the copper sulphate color that is blue fades after some time and uh, here there is a color change. Okay and copper sulphate zinc displaces copper from its solution and forms zinc sulphate. So it's a type of chemical change because a new substance is formed. Here there is a color change, temperature change, but there is no release of the gas. Let us see now the third case. That is add potassium chromate to barium sulphate solution. So take barium sulphate and add potassium chromate to it. After some time you will find that there is formation of yellow colored precipitate or yellow solid substance that is called as a precipitate. So here barium sulphate uh, combines to form with uh, uh, potassium chromate to form barium chromate and potassium sulphate wherein the chemical change is formed and uh, uh, chemical change is there because of the presence of yellow precipitate. Here there is color change, temperature change but there is no gas released. Let us see the next activity. Take some calcium chloride solution in a test tube and add to it sodium carbonate. You will find that the color of the solution changes to white. So white colored precipitate of calcium carbonate is formed. So here calcium chloride when combines with sodium carbonate forms calcium carbonate and sodium chloride. So calcium carbonate forms a white precipitate. So there is a color change and there is a temperature change but no gas released. Now let us take this is also a type of chemical change. Let us take the last example that is taking thallic anhydride in the evaporating dish. Then keep this close the end of the stem of a funnel with a cotton plug. Keep this funnel inverted on the evaporating dish. Now heat the evaporating dish. What do you observe? You will find that there are vapors formed of the thallic anhydride. And this vapors after some time you will find that they are present on the inside of the funnel. You can see the crystals of them. So here there is evolution of the gas but this gas changes into white crystals of thallic anhydride. So that means here there is only change in the state. So it's a type of physical change because gas changes first solid thallic anhydride on heating changes to gaseous thallic anhydride. But on cooling it again forms the crystals of solid uh, thallic anhydride. Since there is only change uh, uh, of state here only vapors are formed of thallic anhydride and then later on solid is formed so it is a type of physical change here there is no color change no uh, temperature uh, change and 
gas is also not released so it's a type of sublimation reaction and sublimation reaction is a physical change so here in you can see the full table what we have learned we can see that in chemical reaction there will be color change temperature change and even sometimes gas released but a physical change takes place due to change in parameters such as temperature or pressure the composition of the matter in the case of physical change remains the same so it's a type of reversible change so in the case of chemical change there is no reversible change water changing into ice and ice changing back into water so it's only state is change if the composition of the matter changes during a process then only it is called as the chemical change but if the composition doesn't change then it's a type of physical change when there is a chemical change same chemical reactions takes place some chemical reactions are taking place so chemical reaction is the process in which some new substances undergo breaking of the bond and then the new uh, substances are formed by formation of the new bonds you can see the example of sodium uh, hydrochloric acid combining with sodium hydroxide forms sodium chloride and water so here there is breaking of the bonds so here the one on the left hand side are called as the reactants whereas those on the right hand side are called as the products so here you can see when the coal is burnt in air you can see that uh, carbon dioxide is formed so here there is change in the uh, temperature as well as formation of the gas and reactants are returned on the left hand side whereas the products are returned on the right hand side chemical reactions can be represented by a chemical equation so that we will study in the next chapter next video